Hello YouTube makeup lovers. So I have another video in my makeup collection series for you guys today. And this video is dedicated to the one product that I cannot live without. I would say that this is my most favorite product of all. It is the one that I never skip, that I wear every single day. And that is concealer. So these are all my concealer products in this little tray. So I'm very excited to share them with you guys today. So like I said, concealer is so important to me. I have very dark under eye circles and it's the one step in my makeup routine that I cannot go without. Even if I wear no makeup at all, I will do my concealer routine. So it's very important for me to have an amazing concealer in my collection. I actually have a few amazing concealers that I have already found throughout the years. So let me start sharing them with you guys today. The very first concealers that I'm gonna share with you guys are from MAC, and these are the MAC Pro Longwear Concealers. I actually have two shades. I have NC25, this one I bought more to conceal the face, but my go-to one for under the eyes is the NW20. I've already gone through a few of these. The packaging has a pump. It is an excellent concealer. I love blending this in with a kabuki brush or even with a beauty blender. The MAC Pro Longer is my favorite MAC concealer. From MAC, I also have, these are called the Studio Finish Concealers, and I have two shades. This one is the NC20, which is more of a yellow tone concealer that I have used on my face. And then this one is a more pinky toned concealer. It's the NW20, which is the one that I would use under my eyes. This is one that is a little bit thicker. Definitely always apply a moisturizer or an eye cream before applying concealer. That's what I love to do. And these are the ones that I used to use all the time back in the day. But when MAC came out with a prolonged wear, or my Cletopole or even my Urban Decay concealer. I really rarely grab these anymore, but they were very, very good. For the face, this is a very good concealer, which is the one that I use is the NC20. Um, it turned out to be a little bit too white, which is why I ended up buying, a little too light, which is why I ended up buying the NC25 in the Prolonger. But those are very good concealers from MAC. Just lately, my favorite is the Prolong Wear. I have a few concealers from the brand It Cosmetics. The very first one is the It Cosmetics. I have the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. It says it has collagen and vitamin C and K. And I use the shade Neutral Medium. And this is a very, very thick concealer. A little bit goes a long way. It is even hard to like even pour it out of the packaging. It is very, very thick, but it covers very, very well. This is a concealer that you use when you really want to look really like done up in a way where you just really want a lot of coverage. Um, I like to use this with a dampened beauty blender to blend it just because it makes it look a lot more natural just because it is so thick, but it does give really, really great coverage and um, I really like it, but it's not one that I use on an everyday basis. It's one that I use when I really need the help and definitely something that I use more in the daytime, even in the nighttime, even though you can share it out with a dampened beauty blender in the daytime, I really don't gravitate towards this one during the day. Also from A Cosmetics, I have the Bye Bye Under Eye Corrector Concentrate Cream. I have two of these. I have the shade Light, which is this one, and I also have the shade Medium, and I use these for very different things. So the Light, I kind of just use as my flesh toned concealer and the medium it's a little bit more on the orangey side and this one I use more as my corrector so let me just tell you quickly which if you watch my videos you know how it is but I take my concealer routine very seriously and I like to do the very first thing I do is to apply my eye cream then I apply my more orange toned concealer to correct then I apply my third step, the more flesh tone concealer to conceal, and then I set it all with a powder. So it's a four step routine. Very, so very great concealers. They're very soft and they glide on real nicely. This is one that I've really, really enjoyed. It Bye Bye Neutralizing Correcting Cream. And this one I'm even scared to open because this is very, very liquidy and I'm gonna make a mess but it is a cream product like this, and this really covers. I've actually used, it's not really a, it's not something that I would use under eyes, but it is a concealer that I would use on my face. 
It's very thick, but it covers a lot. This is the one that I like to use when I feel that I have a lot of redness, maybe on the sides of my nose or even a little bit on my cheeks. A lot of the times what I do is that I'll use this when I really don't want to wear all that much makeup and maybe I'll just wear like my Vitazine, which has a little bit of tint and then just to the areas that I eat it, I'll add the extra coverage with this Bye Bye Redness Correcting Cream. So this is really, really great for the face. If you have a lot of redness, you're gonna love it. I really don't gravitate towards it that much. I only really use it if I'm going really light on the makeup, but I really do need some extra correction around the sides of my nose for the redness. This next concealer is a holy grail. It is like the concealer that I could not live without. And that is from the brand Eve Pearl. And this is the Salmon Concealer. I'm already running out of this one. And this is in the shade Tan. This is the one that I use. This is Salmon Concealer and Treatment. I also bought one. The first one I actually bought was this one right here. It came in a little compact like this. And as you can see, I used up the side that was actually the tan side, which is why I went out and bought this one. And then this is the medium color. So they do have different shades of the salmon concealer. It's time for me to buy another tan. But I did notice on the website that they don't come like this anymore. Um, they just come in a different type of container, which I have to figure out how I'm gonna buy it. You can even buy the little pans to put inside like a magnetic palette. You don't really have to buy the whole thing, but I kind of like it in that Eve Pearl container. Also, something very comparable to the Eve Pearl, but more for the drugstore. It's not as great as the Eve Pearl, but it works and it's from the drugstore, so it's drugstore price. Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer is pricey, but this is a good drugstore and cheaper alternative. It is the NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector, and this is what it looks like. It's also an orangey concealer. I got the shade medium. The light shade was too light for what I wanted to use it for. I like it to be pretty, pretty orangey because that's what works to cover my blue and my green, um, purpley blue green under eye circles. From Makeup Forever, I have the Full Cover Extreme Camouflage Cream. I use the shade six. This is waterproof. It's very great for when you are in very hot, hot, sweaty weather, or maybe if you're just gonna really get wet and you want your concealer to stay put. I'm not sure if I said this, but I'm the shade number six. So this is not a concealer that I would wear on a daily basis, but it is a good one to have in your collection in case you are either gonna get wet or you're gonna be very hot and humid and you just want your makeup to stay put. This is actually in my favorites for the month of August because I went out of town to Panama, very hot and humid weather and it did stay put. It really did not move at all and the weather over there is just so humid that really it's like almost impossible to wear makeup but this stayed put so I really liked it and I like having it in my makeup collection. My holy grail concealers, I have, I say concealers now because I have two before, I used to just have one, but one of my all time favorite concealers is the Eve Pro Concealer and I use the shade beige. This is what the concealer looks like. I love this concealer for so many years and it's one that I will always use and I, I love. It is a very pricey concealer though, um, but it just, it just has worked so well for me throughout these past years and I really had never found anything that could compare to it until Urban Decay released the Naked Skin Concealer, which has been the one that I have gravitated towards the most now. Kind of neglected the Cledipo for the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. In the Naked Skin Concealer, I am shade light neutral. I just love it and it's like half the price of the Cledipo. So if I were to recommend one, just for the price too, it would also be the Naked Skin. It's also just easy to apply, it's fast, it feels great on the skin, it blends very easily, it just looks so natural. So lately, this is the one that I just have been gravitating towards. So I would say these are my two holy grail concealers, but if I were to recommend one, I think now I would just recommend the Urban Decay Naked Skin because it is just like half the price and it just does just as good as a job as the Cledipo does. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a great concealer. It's one that I've loved and will continue to love, but just the naked skin has just been like, it was just like shocking that I love something so much as I did the Cledipo that now I love the naked skin. So that's one that I absolutely love. From the drugstore, I have the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. In this one, I am shade 003, which is light medium. 
This again is this type of thick form that kind of looks like a lipstick, kind of like the Cletipo. This is a really great drugstore alternative for concealer. Also from the drugstore and also very good concealer is the Maybelline Fit Me. In this one, I got the shade 10 in light and this is, you know, like this type of applicator. Again, another very good um, drugstore concealer. Pretty much all the concealers I have are just great quality concealers. If not, I would have thrown them out, returned them, or just not have them here. So I only like great concealers that really work. This is another one. This is a Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. In this one, I am the shade, I don't know where it is, light. It says light here. So this is a full coverage creaseless. This is also a waterproof concealer. Um, and this one I really like. I've pretty much already used it up. It kind of reminds me of the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. Um, it's really good, also very, very thick. These are not really the ones that I gravitate towards the most, but they are a very good quality concealer. And then this one just said waterproof. I actually have forgotten that this one was even waterproof. That one probably could have worked too on my trip. I have to test it out under severe humid weather and see which one works out better. Next, I have this concealer. This is the Amazing Concealer from Amazing Cosmetics. This one, I used to love. I'm in the shade Light Golden, or at least I was. I haven't used this in a really, really long time. But this was a really great concealer. I used to use it all the time. I just actually forgot that I even had it. So this is a very good brand of concealers. This is a smaller size, which I totally recommend because the other size is just so big. But they have a very nice line of concealers. Again, it's a very thick concealer. Um, you definitely have to blend it in well. A little goes a long way, but it's also a very good quality concealer. Another one that I have is from Makeup Forever, and this is the Camouflage Cream, and this is in the number 15. This is the very first one that I bought when I started doing my whole trick with the whole salmon concealer to apply it under the flesh tone concealer and all that stuff. This is the one that I used to use. I remember when I first discovered this, I had bought that little palette from Makeup Forever that Sephora carries that has all those colors and then it had the green at the end. I think mine was like the number one palette. And this number 15 was one of the colors in that palette. And this is the one that I used and I loved it. I had actually, I had actually gone through two of these already. Um, but this one is kind of untouched because I discovered the Eve Pearl Concealer after I bought this one. And then ever since, I haven't used it. The Eve Pearl Concealer is definitely much, much better than this Makeup Forever Camouflage Cream. I really wouldn't recommend this one anymore because I would recommend the Eve Pearl. It just works a lot better. And then these last two products aren't really concealer, but I did want to mention them because it's very important to set your concealer. And a setting powder that I use a lot are these ambient lighting powders from Hourglass. I like to use a diffuse light to set my concealer. And I did just want to mention these last two products because these are the ones that I have been using now to set my concealer that I really, really love. This is one of my all-time favorites. It's the Benefit Powder Flage. Unfortunately, it was discontinued. It's like a pink powder and it's great to set your under eyes with. Um, unfortunately, I can't buy it anymore. So another one that I discovered was the Ben Nye Pretty Pink Translucent Powder. And this is the one that I have kind of been using to set my concealer. So these two are really great products that I must have in my concealer routine. Again, the diffuse light and the ethereal light work really well um, from the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. But I do like the pink um, translucent powders better. My favorite was the Benefit Powder Flush. I would love it if they brought it back. But if not, this Ben 9 Pink Pretty Pink Powder works just great. So that is pretty much it. This was my concealer collection. Let me know which other collection videos you guys want to see next. I will make sure to link the other ones that I have done in the description box down below in case you haven't checked them out. But I will definitely have more of these makeup collection videos coming your way. And as always, I want to say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. Bye!